like Skipper and Henrietta. Oh, I used to love it when I was a girl. Um... Oh, come on, Henrietta. You can go faster than that. <laughs> faster! Faster! All right, all right. Sorry, God, stop! Oh, I'm turning around for my seriously weird art! Oh, oh look at that beer, then! <laughs> oh, you made me jump! <laughs> so, you think I'm seriously weird, do you? Well, I, uh... Come on, Henrietta, your turn. What? You mean me? Jump on that? Oh, yes. Don't you worry. I'll turn the rope very slowly. Well, OK, then. To start with. <laughs> oh, no. Bossy Bill. I can't let him see me skipping. Oh, look, Great Aunt Greta. Uh, pterodactyl. What was that? That was a pterodactyl. <laughs> a pterodactyl? You mad old lady. Oh, yes. It was definitely a pterodactyl. <laughs> Did you see it go? Uh, uh, come on, Bill. Uh, we've got an appointment with uh, your school headmaster. Phew! That was close. It's all right, Henrietta. You can come out now. Well, I can't say I blame you for trying to avoid that horrid boy. Let's see you jump, Henrietta. <sighs> That's my girl. Now let's try it a little bit faster, shall we? <sighs> this is actually quite fun. Like a little dog. Yes, thank you, Nick. Talking of dogs, where's Fiddle Wagner? <laughs> uh, I think I found him. I didn't mean to land on Fiddle Wagner, honest. Oh, I shouldn't worry about that, Henrietta. He'll be right as rain once they've got his paw out of his ear. <laughs> hmm. This lemonade's really nice, Great Old Greta. Time for a rock kick? No, thanks. Not just yet, Great Old Greta. My, my, look at the time. Time flies when you're having fun, eh, Henrietta? <laughs> Shall we go, then? Not so fast, Henrietta. There's something we haven't done yet. What's that? Your skipping lesson. My skipping lesson? <laughs> I give up. That's my girl. Now then, legs lift and sideways jump and up, down and all around. So I said to her, I said, if you think that gives you the right to be some junior lieutenant commander, then you've got another thing. Oh, what is that? And spin, Henrietta. Hey, not slide. Try it. Huh? Henry, 
Time for school. I can't go to school today, Mum. Wherever not. Well, I've got a cough. <coughs> oh, come on, Henry. You'll have to do better than that. Um, uh, the school burned down yesterday. Oh, I didn't see any flames. Silence, worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. I can't go to school today because I I've broken my leg. Ow! Ow! Oh, the pain! Oh, poor Henry! I know it's injection day today, Henry, and you are going to school whether you like it or not. Now, let me see. B for broken leg. Just lie back and relax, Henry. I can help you. Yes, Peter. Yes, you can! <laughs> But I don't want to pretend to be you for the day. <coughs> You'll get to play in the big boy's playground. Yes. Whoa! <coughs> and you'll get to sit in the big boy's class. So? <coughs> you'll get maths homework. <gasps> oh, goody! I love maths homework! Um, but if I'm you, won't I get your injection? Oh, yeah. Uh, I hadn't thought of that. But think of all that maths homework. This is never going to work. Of course it will. Henry? Peter? <sighs> You're right. It's never going to work. Better not leave a mark. My arms are beautiful and I want them to stay that way. You better hope she doesn't hit an artery. This causes massive blood loss, gangrene and possible amputation. That means they cut your arm off. <gasps> oh, please. It's only a pinprick. Yeah, only a pinprick. <laughs> oh, don't pick me. Please don't pick me. William, you're next. <laughs> I don't want to go! Save me! Somebody save me! <laughs> <laughs> don't be silly, William. It's only an injection. Yeah, cry baby. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to cry. Uh-uh. Not me. <laughs> I'm tough and strong. Oh, I could take anything. <laughs> Margaret. <laughs> Can't wait to hear you scream. This is almost worth having an injection for. Hearing Margaret scream any moment. Now? Huh. I've never seen such a big needle. You can't frighten me. It's as long as my arm. The bigger, the better. Henry. No! I don't want an injection. I want my mummy! Me too. <laughs> and me. Mummy! Mummy!
present, Peter. <laughs> yeah, it's a stick bomb. Henry, how could you be so horrid? Now, inside, everyone, the clown is about to start. Oh, goody, 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 yippee! One more trick like that and there'll be no cake for either of you. No cake? No cake. Now, come inside with the others. <sighs> Let's get this over with. In the crowd. Now, where's the birthday boy? Ah! <laughs> What's that? Uh, it's a lion. Get it out of this room. I don't do lions. Why not? Let's just say I had a bad circus experience. Right, well, now for some magic. My next trick is the amazing disappearing milk. <laughs> 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 the milk is gone. Oh, it's okay. Look, I found it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be horrid, Henry. But I didn't do anything. For my next trick, we have the amazing vanishing banana. Now, I shall make the banana vanish. Does anyone know where it went? Yeah. It's here. Oh. <laughs> now, can we have cake? Not until the show is over. <laughs> How clever you are, Henry. How would you like to be my assistant? What? For the Box of Bewilderment. Oh. I shall now attempt to make this clever little boy disappear. Bravo! Bravo! Oh, lovely. Step inside. Oh, all right. I'll do anything for cake. A la Kazam! <laughs> Silly me, that shouldn't happen, should it? Let's try again. Abracadabra! <laughs> One last time. Big bang, biggly boo! <laughs> Yes, the show will continue after tea. No! We'll never get to have the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? He really doesn't like lions. until after the clown has finished. You look good in a skirt, Henry. Get lost!
matter with you? Are you in trouble? If I'm not good, they're going to get rid of my fort. Oh, no. Oh, yes. And plant more vegetables instead. Oh, that's really mean. Yeah, really mean. Cos <laughs> even vegetables wouldn't want to join your ratty gang. <laughs> Compared to my gang, your club is stinkier than a pooper scooper. Everyone knows the purple hang gang is best. You think so? Well, why don't you prove it? Are you challenging me? I dare you to challenge me. OK. I challenge you. I declare that today will take place a series of challenges and dares to decide which is the pre... the... the pre... Min, the pre... The best? The best! The Secret Club! Hooray! Or the Purple Hand Gang! Hooray! Let the battle commence! Did she twitch? Um, uh... Oh, can we get on with this? She's going to scream! No, she isn't. <sighs> so, what else have you got? <sighs> One point to the secret club! Last chance. Are you going to say my club is best? Your club is... Pond scum! <clears throat> No, this is the best I can do. <gasps> Not anymore. Oh. One point to the purple hand gang. Hooray! Ready? Ready. Ready. Ready? Ready. Oh! We're all Start counting! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! What's next? It's glob time. Mum. I'll get you, Henry! 
sounds like someone else is awake too. Ah! Really? That girl needs to learn not to be so horrid. Oh, poor Fang. He's fallen asleep on his seesaw. Let's get him back in his cage. Poor Fang. He's not like other hamsters, is he? No, I suppose he isn't. Well, none of this is getting your Saturday chores done, is it? <sighs> uh, no, I guess not. So what are you going to start with today? Oh, well, I, uh... Good idea, Henry. Start by sorting the laundry. <laughs> but they're right! You're not like other hamsters. I mean, you're awake during the day for starters. And you sleep in a bed like I do. You're a champion comic collector. And you fire a mean slime ball. <laughs> and you're the best at helping me sort laundry. What are we waiting for? Let's go saw some laundry! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Henry, how are you getting on? Fine, Mum! Just sorting the laundry!
Henry. You're doing your homework? Yes. Look. The ultimate website for homework. Oh, Henry, you are doing your homework. Keep up the good work, Henry. It's all worth it in the end. Mum! Hmm, let's see. The ultimate website for homework excuses. <laughs> this is what I need. Let's try the random selector button. And what is your excuse this time? Well, I was halfway through my homework and I got distracted, Miss. Did you know? And what exactly was it that distracted you, Henry? An investigation into the root cause of physical randomicity, Miss. E eh? Yes, it's a really interesting subject. Would you uh, like me to tell you all about it, Miss? Uh, no, Henry, not now. But I'm glad to hear you've been doing some work, of sorts. So, Henry, anything distract you from your homework last night? Well, yes, Miss Battleaxe. I'm waiting, Henry. The fascinating question of whether man is mighty or mundane. Hmm, and what conclusion did you come to? Ah, uh, well, I didn't, Miss. You see... Oh. Oh. Don't tell me, Henry. You got distracted. Yes, Miss! Intergenetics. Interglyco what? Interglycogenetics. Who can tell me what this means? Uh, Brian? Uh, an in-depth analysis of whether you really belong in your family or whether you are a changeling who has been left there as a punishment. Uh, nearly, Brian. Well, uh, I'm glad to see that someone else is keeping up with you, Henry. So, that will be your homework for tonight. I expect an essay on the subject of interglycogenetics <gasps> on my desk by the start of school tomorrow. <laughs> Class dismissed. Stop. I mean what I say, everyone. Triple detentions all round if anyone, and I mean anyone, fails to deliver. Oh, Henry, this is going to be so hard. <laughs> Game of football, Brian? No, I'm off to the library. Even I'm worried about this homework, Henry. Well, aren't you going to give me a hard time too, bogey brain? Huh? You talking to me, Snot Slime? Yeah. How much do you know about interglycogenetics? Quite a lot, actually. Huh? You mean, it's, it's really a subject? Yes, and it just so happens that my dad's best friend is the head of the Institute of Interglycogenetics. Really? Yeah, really. And it just so happens that he's coming to our house for dinner tonight. So I am sorted. Um, how about that game of football, Ralph? Uh... Yeah, all right then. Did I just imagine all that? <sighs> so, tell me all about interglycogenetics. It'd be my pleasure, Margaret. Interglycogenetics is a groundbreaking new area of research that started only 20 years ago. Can you believe I'm doing this? I'm not leader of the Purple Hand Gang for nothing, you know. It's so easy being me. I'm Uh, yes. Uh, let me show you to your class. It's all right. I know the way. That's it, Rebecca. Oh. 
Henry, we meet again. Hello, Rebecca. I don't believe you've met Archie, my pet spider. I don't believe I have. No buts, Henry. Sit down. Anyone else thinking of misbehaving? No, no. No what? Uh, 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 no, Miss... Uh... Miss Rancid. No, Miss Rancid. <laughs> <laughs> and where do you think you're going? You go! You go! You! You! And you go! Go! What are you doing down there, Henry? I'm cleaning the floor! What does it look like, worm? Ooh, let me help you, Henry. Maybe you'll get a good as gold badge from you and your teacher. <laughs> That's what you think, smelly nappy baby. Well, if you don't want my help, then I'll carry on with what I was doing. La 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 What you going to do about it? About what? The bogey babysitter. The bogey teacher, more like. Why is it me that's got to do something? Because. Because why? Because it's all your fault that Miss Battleaxe has gone away on holiday and left us alone with that monster. Yeah, well, it's not my fault that Rebecca's not frightened of spiders anymore. I thought Archie would scare her away. Well, it didn't, did it? So you better figure out how to get rid of her, or else. Or else what? Or else it will be even more your fault. <sighs> Why is it always my fault? Because it always is. Um, please, miss. Please, miss. Um, please, miss, are you going to teach us anything? You are a creep, and I don't like creeps. Because, Miss, if you're not going to teach us anything, I'd like to be excused to go to the library, please. You're all creeps! Now go! Scary creeps. <laughs> Sue, how are you getting on with that bunch of snotty news, kids, eh? <clears throat> All right. They can be pretty scary sometimes, can't they? Don't frighten me. Nothing frightens me. Really? Really. <sighs> oh, only joking. Ha, oh, oh. ha. Come in. I've finished tidying the bookshelves and brushing the story carpet, Miss Lovely. Oh, Peter, thank you. You are most certainly my goodest gold boy today. La 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 la. Miss Rensid, are you all right? La, la, la. I am now. What are you two doing there? Go away, Snop Slime. We've got a plan. What do you mean, a plan? A plan to scare the terrible teacher away. But... <laughs> Boo! Yeah! Boo! <laughs> so easy being me. I'm Harley Henry. Oh, Peter, my little bunnykins, that's so... So sweet. Happy Mummy's Day, Mummy. Henry? Oh, uh, back in a minute. Thank you, Peter. I love it. Oh, goody. I knew you would. Henry! So, Honey Bunny, 
Are you looking forward to the tingly toothbrushes father and son day out tomorrow? Oh, yes. I can't wait. Is Henry coming too? Henry! We'll see. Ooh, goody. That means he's not coming. Yay! <laughs> Ooh, this is so exciting. Just Dad and me going on the tingly toothbrushes father and son day out. The perfect day. I wonder how we're doing. You're doing okay, though you'd better concentrate if you don't want to get lost. You know how Boss Bob doesn't like lateness. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Satnav. At the next junction, turn left. <laughs> mm, I'm not sure this is right. Sorry, I meant turn right. Ha <laughs> ha. Great. Now we're going to be late. This must be it. Dad, I feel sick. Perform a U-turn when possible. What do you mean, perform a U-turn when possible? I mean... I know what you meant, but... Perform a U-turn when possible. <sighs> Are we there, Dad? I don't know. I don't know where we're supposed to be, either. What does the invitation say, Peter? At a secret location, located at this secret postcode, ZZ1HH3. Well, that's a lot of help. Oh, there's something else written right at the bottom. It says, come prepared for a day of paint splodging. Paint splodging? <laughs> you should have seen your face when I landed that first splodge. <laughs> splodge? Oh, yes. That's what we call them. Splodges. Technical term, don't you know? Ah, right. Well, uh, shall we begin? Um, is anyone else joining us? Uh, no. <laughs> you were the only ones foolish enough to accept my invitation. Uh, we were? Yes, but I like a bit of foolishness in my employees, so you'll be top of the Tingly Toothbrush's top achiever chat next week. I will? I lad, you will. <laughs> if you survive. <laughs> Uh, hold on a minute. Oh. Where did they go? That's for us to know, and you to find out. <laughs> you see, the thing is, we have to take them by surprise. Creep up on them and take the high ground. How do you know all this, Dad? I saw it in a movie. Oh, OK. What do we do now, Dad? Run away! I think they've moved on. Peter, what are you doing? I saw Zack Sitface do this in one of Henry's Gross Class Zero episodes when he was trying to escape from the evil Emperor. Oh, did it work? No, but it's worth a try. That's what Miss Lovely always says. If at first you don't succeed, try, 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 try again. again. And you know what, Peter? She's right.
Synchronized swimming? Fun. You don't have to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brain. 
Please, Miss, Henry's talking. Thank you, Margaret, and I'm sure it won't have escaped your attention that you are talking too. Nice one, Margaret. That was definitely doing something. Please, Miss, Ralph's talking too. Thank you again, Margaret, and that's twice you've been talking now. <laughs> what are you going to do now, Margaret? Get lost, bouncy ball brain. Just because I don't have my glasses, it doesn't mean I can't hear you, Al. Oops. And Margaret, that's number three for you. <coughs> Not so fast, Margaret, Al, Ralph and Henry stay here. The rest of you can go. Which one of you is the best football player, would you say? Thank you. Uh, well, then, you shall all stay in detention <gasps> for the rest of the day. But to the science lab now! Uh, thank you, Mr. Sockington. I've come to tell you that Miss Audbord has suggested that I referee the Ashton Athletic Junior Team football trials this afternoon while you go and get my glasses mended for me. But, but... So, off you go, Mr. Sockington. Oh, uh, right, Miss Badlax. Uh, off I go. Uh, yes. She can't. Read the trials. She's a girl for one thing. And what's wrong with that, sir? Oh, uh, nothing, Margaret. I'm just upset about all this. So are we, sir. We're missing it too. Yeah, and we didn't stand on Miss Battleaxe's glasses. That, in itself, is true, Margaret. Oh, what are we gonna do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. What are we going to do? We're going to do something. Oh, here we go again. Psst! Um, you're supposed to be in detention. We'll get into trouble if we talk to you. Oh, don't be such a wimp. I need you to deliver a message to Peter. I can't deliver a message to Peter. Yes, you can. Pull yourself together and listen. We've got a message for you, Peter. Have you? What is it? Um, it's a message from Henry. Not interested. But we'll get into trouble if you don't listen. Who from? Henry. Still not interested. And Margaret. Interested now. <laughs> oh, uh, just off to get the glasses repaired, Boudicca. Oh, thank you so much, Sidmouth. Oh, excuse me. Come on, then, you horrible lot. Out you go. Thanks, Wall. I did it for Margaret. What a worm! They're all ready for you, Miss Lovely. Blanket. Check. Picnic bag. Got it, Dad. You're supposed to say check. Check. Worm. Sun umbrella. Ugh, oh, I left that in the kitchen. Oh, get it, Dad. Dad says, do 
did you want to take the tiddlywinks in case we get bored later? I'm bored already. And no, I do not want to take the tiddlywinks. Oh, is that a tomato? What? Uh, oh, that. Mmm. Oh, delicious. <laughs> Go on. Chew. I am chewing, Bum. Hurry up, boys. Coming, Dad. Ugh. What a wormy worm! Henry! Come on, Dad! Here, Henry. Let me take something. Hey, smelly nappy baby. You can carry something too. I am carrying something. I've got the tiddlywinks. <laughs> tiddlywinks. Tiddly stinks more like. Don't be horrid, Henry. I didn't say that, Henry. Well, then, are we going in the car? No. <sighs> Told you so. It's family fresh air day today, Henry. Remember? Oh, how could I forget? Oh, at last we're here. Yes, the perfect spot. Hmm, <sighs> smell that fresh air. It's a bit smelly here, Dad. Hmm. You're right, Peter. It is a bit smelly. There's another perfect spot over there. Hey! Is anyone going to help me with this lot? <sighs> oh, I guess not. You'd help me if you could, wouldn't you? What do you mean, no? <laughs> Thanks a lot. Dad says, hurry up, Penny. We found another perfect spot. Oh, this stuff's heavy, you know. Who are you talking to, Henry? No one you need to know about, smelly, nappy, baby Duke of Poop. Dad! You don't have to tell on me, you know. Yes, I do. Dad! <laughs> What is it, Henry? We're still looking for the perfect spot to sit. Yeah, I know that, but... Over here, Dad! Over here, Henry. Here. No, over here. Over here. No, here. Don't be horrid, Henry. He's nibbling. Yeah, I can see that. He's a nasty nibbler. Yeah, I can see that too. Get lost, nasty nibbler. He won't go away till he's nibbled all your food. Mm, great. Yuck! I just farted! There's a perfect spot over here, Dad. Uh, someone's made a nasty smell. Was it you, Henry? No, it was her. Oh, hello, I'm Peter. Oh, here we go. And you are? Finola. <laughs> Farty Finola, more like. Henry, you are so not a gentleman. You're right, Peter. I am so not a gentleman. So why don't you take Farty Finola and the nasty nibbler away from here? Far, far away. Something special in it. 
Margaret? Oh, football boots, because I'm really good at football. Very good, Margaret. Um, my biggest encyclopedia. My favourite toy car. Thank you, everyone. Very good. Henry, I'm sure you've forgotten to bring something in, as usual. No, miss. I've brought something. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. Thank you, Henry. That will do. Uh, now would be good, Henry. Follow me, class. Message to the future. Margaret smells. <laughs> Ow! Quiet, please, class. Let the hole be dug. Inside, everyone, now. Bury it when the rain stops. What is it, Henry? Could I have my pocket money now, Dad? Uh, yes. In a moment. Dad! Oh, what is it now? I can't find Buddy anywhere! <laughs> what have you done now, Henry? Me? Buddy's gone! I'll never see him again! <laughs> Come on, Peter. I'm sure he's somewhere. Let's go and look for him. Henry, do you know where Bunny is? No. Well, uh, not exactly. Henry, if you want any pocket money ever again, then you'd better get Bunny back. Fast. Oops. Better get digging. This will take forever. Unless I can get somebody to help me. So who told you there was treasure buried here? Everyone knows that, don't they, Bert? I don't know. We're going to be rich. <laughs> I'm going to buy every chocolate bar in the world. I want my own gym. I don't know. Henry! There's something down here. I'm going to buy a yacht, too. It's one of these time capsules. Huh? There's nothing in it. No treasure? No, nothing. Come on. Let's keep digging. Any treasure. How come these are all empty? I don't know. I'm going home. Thanks for nothing, Henry. They were all empty. I want my buddy. Where can he be? Maybe he's been kidnapped by aliens. <laughs> Henry, you have got to find Bunny or else... 